episode of bug bounty pocs and in this video i will be explaining one of my bug where a firebase configuration was exposed in a javascript file so this is a basic summary of the bug that a firebase, firebase configuration was present in a javascript file and using a tool called base runner uh, i was able to exploit the data stores basically query the data stores add some data delete some data write off some data in that data store this is the explanation of the bug so i found a live host with a suspicious title name suppose let it be foo.example.com and when i checked the main.js file uh, in the source code uh, it was completely minified so i unminified it and after this there was a variable present in that javascript the content uh, by by the name firebase config so uh, with that same variable name there are actually two configurations which are exposed so using the base runner tool I was able to exploit the data source. So let's see uh, after this how it worked. So this was the Firebase configuration. Actually, similar to this, there was one more configuration in that same JavaScript file with another variable name. And this is the tool that is used to expl uh, ex uh, exploit a Firebase configuration. If you found uh, one, and this uh, the tool name is Base Runner. So you can uh, get clone it, and then using npm you can install it and then just npm run build and npm start. So it will be uh, running on your local host port 3000. So just go to that, uh, your local host 3000 in your browser. And this is how you can run it, npm start. After this, the interface looks something like this. This is a screenshot directly from GitHub. You can click on the read collection button and this query will be directly, uh, it will automatically be pasted in this uh, pop-up, this box. We'll click on run. But first, you will have to uh, paste your Firebase config that you have gotten from the JavaScript file. And after this, you can query the data store. Not only this, there are other options also present here like add to collection, modify document in collection, or delete some document in the collection. So you can use these other queries as well. And uh, there is something called key and value pair in a document. And based on that, you have to modify the documents. So this was this bug and I have like uh, have added this value from my side in the data store hacker one encoded guy to verify that it is working or not and it worked and when I queried the data store once again uh, the values that I've added was available and this was this is the reporting timeline i reported this bug uh, via hacker one it was a it, it's a public program on hacker one by the way and i reported it on 9 december 2022 and on 10 december it got triaged by the internal triager so the program is not managed by hacker one and so yeah that's a little detail about the program and on 17 january the team decided that the this host is not eligible for bounty because this host was not in production so no no real data was breached here that's why they decided that it is not eligible for bounty and on 20th january it got resolved so these are some screenshots uh, of the report that uh, this is the first one where i reported it on 9 december the second one where it got triaged the third one where the team decided that it is not eligible for bounty and the fourth one where it got resolved. That's all from my side. Thank you.